next two rounds after that, peace. Oof. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Everyday Armor 2.0 t-shirt by Premier Body Armor. Today's video is unpaid and unsponsored. I'm in no way affiliated with Premier Body Armor. I don't have any coupon codes to give out that I'm gonna get kicked back from. I'm just a truck driver. I'm just a guy who wanted to buy body armor. I wore this every day for three weeks and I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion things I love, things I hate. I'll go over everything from overall comfort, fit, feel, flexibility, breathability, concealability. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like wearing it under t-shirts, dress shirts, flannels, hoodies, jackets, suits, when people are gonna notice it, when they won't, all the ins and outs that you might not think of that these other popular YouTubers don't talk about. And of course, I'm gonna shoot it. Stay tuned. Chances are you clicked on this video because you're researching this product in particular. Maybe you're just curious, searching body armor in general. Either way, I made this video today to help you out, the consumer. This is my first time purchasing it, so I really didn't know what to expect. Body armor is an investment. It isn't cheap. It can be very expensive. So in making this video and sharing my experience, hopefully I'll give you a better idea of what you're spending your hard-earned money on. Let's start from the beginning. Now you can purchase this directly from premierbodyarmor.com. There are also other sites that sell them as well. Optics Planet sells them, Midway, a bunch of other sites do. I purchased this shirt from two different sites. I got one from Optics Planet, the one I'm wearing. I also bought one directly from Premier Body Armor. It's the one I'm gonna unbox for you guys. If you get to the point where you're ready to buy, it's a good idea to check some other sites out in case they have some deals going on. Initially, I purchased two from Optics Planet for my wife and I, a small for her and a medium for me. The medium was on back order, so I purchased the medium directly from Premier. At the time of making this video, it is January 2024. The one I bought from Premier was $289. One from Optics Planet had a flash sale price of $259. So that's $30 cheaper, so there are deals to be had. Um, now, saving money is always a good thing, but sometimes there can be trade-offs. Now, from the time when I purchased these around Christmas time of last year, each site took me five days to arrive at my doorstep with the standard shipping, which is better than I expected around the holiday season. But one of those shirts from Optics Planet was on back order. To their credit, they let me know right away via email that it wasn't available to be shipped and they uh, only charged me for the one that they had shipped. I got emails from them every day with the expected shipping dates that kept getting bumped up. So you may save some money shopping around, but you also might not get it as quick. So that's just something to keep in mind. So now let's unbox the Everyday Armor 2.0 t-shirt that I got directly from Premier and let's compare it to the one that I'm wearing from Optics Planet. Confirm that we're getting the same thing. We get into the unboxing uh, right off the bat is looking at the boxes that they're shipped in. Let's take a look. This is the box that I got from Premier Body Armor. As you can see, it is unmarked. There's no markings on it. The return address, it does say Premier Body Armor, but um, it, overall, it's a pretty discreet box. On the other hand, the box that I got from Optics Planet is clearly labeled, as you can see. Yeah, I don't know, it makes me a little nervous. To some of you, it may not be a big deal, but if you have porch pirates in your area, this might be a concern. <laughs> I mean, if they go on their phones and type in their website, the first thing that pops up on their homepage is $1,000 hunting scopes and $300 red dots. So yeah, if they do that, they're probably gonna snatch it up and wave goodbye to your ring camera. So just saying. So I'm going to pop this off. I'm going to unbox the one that we got from Premium Body Armor and I'm gonna hold them side to side and I'm just gonna confirm that it is the same product that we're getting from Optics Planet that we are from Premier Body Armor. What did I do with my scissors? Ah, there we go. Okay, let me crack this open. Okay. Let's open her up. Okay. So inside our box, I had ordered the t-shirt bundle in white 
a medium white t-shirt with two uh, panels and then a separate shirt, medium and black. So inside the package, you have a little flyer, little uh, mission statement on it. I did not get that when I ordered it with Optics Planet. And I got my receipt here. You got Everyday Armor t-shirt only, Everyday Armor t-shirt only, and then the ballistic inserts for Everyday Armor t-shirt two. So if you get the bundle, it's gonna come with the t-shirt and two inserts. And that is $289 as of the filming of this video. And then I believe the single t-shirts by themselves are just, I believe they're $55, if I'm not mistaken. So that is all that comes in the package. They come in a little resealable pouch, like so. Let's take that out. So these shirts are not made by Premier Body Armor themselves. They have a different company uh, name. It says oneenemy.com, win your day. So I don't know if they're affiliated with them. All right, as you can see, we got our label there. This is the one we got from Premier, my small from Optics Planet. As you can see, the, uh, the tag is getting a little uh, faded there. After three weeks and washing it a bunch of times, that's expected. It's the same stuff. So that's good. We can confirm that we have the same product from two different websites ordering it. For those of you who have trust issues, let's put these aside, the shirts. We will check out the inserts and make sure that they match up to the ones that we got from Optics Planet. Now these are coming in a sealed bag. So if you order these, you're gonna have to open these up like so. Let's take these out. Okay, we got the two. Let me get a good. This is what comes in the bag. You get two inserts, very lightweight. Let me take them out of my shirt that I was wearing. Now you see, when I wash this, I find that the easiest way to take these out is to flip the shirt inside out. So you got one that'll come out like this. You just fold that over. If you just keep pulling it up, boom. Now the shirt's inside out. Take the flap of the pocket, just kind of guide it a little bit out of there, and then it slides right out, like so. I'll take out the other one, let's fold that over. Just kind of pull a little bit on the edges, just so you don't tear anything. It's pretty strong, but basically it's an Under Armour shirt, so, and they're $55, so, you know, better safe than sorry. The sticker on this one on my shirt is coming off a little bit, but, we can compare the one that I got from Optics Planet to the one that we got from Premier Body Armor. And as you can see, they look exactly the same. They feel exactly the same. So now it's got all the information on it. Our wash care instructions. You, know, you just use a damp cloth to wash this off with. Um, you don't want to wash it in liquid, dry clean it, anything like that. You got uh, 12 and three quarters inches on the height and seven and three quarters inches on the width. Uh, Data manufacturing, the warranty period, threat level, everything you got in it made in good old US of A. Let's take a look at, these are enclosed in a type of Kevlar type sleeve. I believe they call it the rip stop. It's basically just a moisture barrier and uh, sweat protection. So uh, the plate doesn't get wet underneath it. As you can see, it's a soft plate, flexible, like so. Underneath the sleeve that it's in, on the plate itself, we got DuPont Kevlar XPS107 and da -ba -ba -ba, some other numbers. So this is the Optics Planet one that I got. Let's take the one that we got from Premier Body Armor. And as you can see, DuPont Kevlar XPS107. I guess that's the roll that they, they cut it out of. But yeah, so that is another confirmation that if you order it from a different website, you are going to get the same plates as well as shirt as if you were to get it from Premier Body Armor directly from the website. I find that the easiest way to remove and insert the plates is just flip the shirt inside out. Like I said before, you're reinserting the plates, insert it from the bottom, 
and there's basically a pocket here that the plate goes into. So you kind of just flip this out a little bit and then you pull up the inside of the pocket. You're going to see that you're going to wear face next to body. So basically this side is going to go next to your body. So now that the shirt is inside out, what you're basically going to do is you're going to put in this end up. So when you turn it back inside out, it's going to be facing your body. So I find that the easiest way is to bend it a little bit like this, slide it in there, and then just kind of ease it in, shimmy it back and forth. And it goes in fine. You could just push it straight in and then pull that forward. And then you have the little tab down here and it pulls right up and over and it goes in fine. Now you can tell sometimes it might get a little caught up in here, but if you just give it a little, little shimmy like that, we'll pull it to the sides. You'll be able to feel everything smooths out and you're good to go. I just don't like to force it in because even though this material is reinforced, it is still soft. Um, a lot of the material is still basically an Under Armour shirt. So I just don't want to take my chances with it. Again, they're 55 bucks. And then we flip it over. We got our label side up and we'll do the same thing with the back of the shirt. And we'll slide that in there. And if you have any trouble getting caught up on it, you can always just stick your hand in there. It's very easy. It doesn't really get caught up too much, but sometimes it does a little bit. What I like to do, again, give a little pull from the sides, like so. What I like to do then is just lift from the bottom of the shirt. I pull that out. It kind of flips over. And then as you do that, boom. See? Easy peasy. So it is very easy to get it on and off. That's what I like about it. Easy to wash, nice, convenient, ready to go. These are level 3A ballistic armor plates, which means they'll stop anything smaller than a nine millimeter and they'll go stop anything from a nine millimeter to, I believe it's 44 mag. They're very thin, somewhat flexible, as you know, flexible enough to slip in and out of the shirt pockets easily. Very lightweight, they're only um, eight tenths of a pound each. Out with the t-shirt, uh, I think it weighs two pounds total so it's very light which is great they are also slash and stab resistant so their website uh, shows that they'll also stop rounds from a 12 gauge as well so before we get any further into my three-week review of wearing it and fashion show let's go out and see what she's made of all right ladies and gentlemen we are now at our undisclosed location outside of city limits we are going to test her out and make sure that she does what she is supposed to do now, I am not blessed with a large arsenal. I do not have every caliber of pistol at my disposal today. I am not like your favorite YouTuber. And frankly, I do not want to be. I don't even have a fancy lifelike mannequin with a realistic torso on it. I have Sheldon over there. Sheldon? <laughs> Sheldon over here is made out of a memory foam pillow, some duct tape, and my friend's crappy elliptical from Walmart that he was gonna throw out. So, we do not have all the fancy bells and whistles with us today, but that's okay, we got what we need. And it just so happens that what we got today covers the low end and the high end of the ballistics threat protection that these plates offer. What we're gonna be shooting today, we have three different weapons we're gonna be shooting at today. We have a nine millimeter, 45, and we have a 12 gauge. For the nine millimeter, we're gonna be uh, using a Glock 43X. I'm going to be firing two different rounds. All right, first round is gonna be a Remington UMC, just your typical 115 grain ballpoint ammo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up the uh, picture on the screen, but for the self-defense rounds, I'm gonna be using Horandi. Uh, they are 124 grain XTP rounds. We also have a high point 45 ACP that we're going to be firing at it today. Rounds I'm going to be using with that are Winchester 45 Auto 230 grain self-defense rounds. For the 12 gauge, we're going to be using this beautiful Kalishnikov KS-12 and we're going to be firing slugs. All right, so quick disclaimer, guys. This uh, video is only for education purposes only. Please do not try this at home. You're going to always want to wear your ear and eye protection before you shoot 
and you're going to want to follow the four pillars of gun safety. First rule of gun safety is always treat your firearms as if they are loaded. Number two, always keep your gun pointed away from the target until you intend to shoot at it. Number three, always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot at your target. And number four, always be sure of what's beyond your target. Again, the first two rounds are going to be your target ammo. And then the next two rounds after that are going to be the XTPs. Okay, now I'm going to take that out and I'm going to show you guys what we got. All right, guys, now that we got this out, these first two rounds here are the 115 grain. And then these two are the self-defense rounds. Those are the 124 XTPs. So my first two rounds here, the 115 grains. This one came right out the side, I believe. It came through, but it, let me see if it, uh, I believe this first one came out, came out the side of the, the sleeve over here, but this round got caught, did not pierce behind here. Now the XTPs, the 124 grain, this one is still inside. I can feel it right here and it had just dented the back of, it did not pierce the armor plate itself. And the second one right here did not pierce it as well. So that's good. Nine millimeters held up. Now I'm going to go put this back in there and we're going to give it a shot with the, the 45. Oops. Now we're going to give it a shot with the 45 ACP. And again, this is with the 230 grain. Right. Sorry about all the blood all over this. I cut my hand on something earlier and it just won't stop bleeding. So this is my blood. This is not anyone else's blood. The 45 hit right here, as you can see. And I could feel the round inside and it did not penetrate through. So 45 worked. Now let's try the, the Kalishnikov. For the Kalishnikov KS-12, we got ourselves a round of slug. Ooh, that was a good one. I don't think she did too well. Didn't sound like she did too well, but we'll see how she does. It looks like the 12 gauge had entered pretty much in the same spot where I shot one of my nine millimeter self-defense rounds. But as you can see, it tore it to bits. It had, it looks like it had exited through the back. Now, this thing is, uh, taking a quite a beating as you can see I don't know if that is the which round is that you think you can see the whole the whole inside of it that might be yeah is that the slug I don't think no this is the 45 this is the 45 it looks like after the beating that it's already taken I believe the slug had passed right through it so okay guys I am going to give it another shot with the with the 12 gauge slug. Now I'm gonna to try to aim for a, a less compromised area of the uh, the plate. I'm gonna aim for the bottom right corner as that is, has not been shot to pieces with all the other rounds. <laughs> all right. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Oof, I don't know. Now, now as you can see, it had entered right back here. You can see that it actually did not penetrate the back armor of the plate. Now, that's not to say if you were to get hit with this while wearing this, that's not gonna hurt like heck. It's probably gonna break a few ribs and it's probably gonna be very, very painful, but it's better than having it pass through you. That's good. That covers the, uh, the, these three calibers so that we know that this works and that's great. All right guys, that was really fun. That was my first time shooting at something in a while that wasn't made of clay or paper. So good. Now we know the most important part. It works, it stops bullets, awesome. Here's the thing. 
Statistically, the fact is most of the people who are wearing this aren't going to get shot. It's more like an insurance policy that you wear every day. So that being said, you're going to be wearing it every day like I have for the past three weeks. Hence the name Everyday Armor T-shirt. Let's get into what it's like actually wearing it every day. The good, the bad, the ugly. First and foremost, let's talk about picking out your size. It is paramount that you get the right size. They give you a size chart on the website and the chest measurement to go along with it. So just to be clear, this is a typical size chart uh, for normal fitting. Uh, not what they recommend ordering from them for these t-shirts. They recommend ordering one size smaller than what you would measure at. Most people don't have these body tape measure thingies. Now, in my case, I'm actually wearing a small. I had ordered the small for my wife and the medium for myself originally. Medium got canceled due to back order, so I tried this on when it got shipped, and guess what? It had a very nice compressed fit. <laughs> now, I was gonna try to stay clothed for the entirety of this video, but to give any men watching uh, a frame of reference, I'm gonna pop this off to show you my body type. Boom. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. So I'm holding the mic in my hand. I got nothing to hold it, clip it to, so hopefully the audio comes out okay. I am 40 years old. I currently weigh 185 pounds. So this is me, quick spin around. This is my frame and I'm wearing a small, 185 pounds. I'm five foot nine. Arms are 13 inches, waist is 36, and my chest measures at 41 inches. So I'm gonna put this back on. Now what I kind of do is I kind of put it on like uh, like football pants. It's easy to put on, but if you, you can't really put it on like a regular t-shirt, you kind of gotta get your head in between, put one arm through, let that go through, and then boom, slides right on, and boom. Boom, just like that, through the magic of editing, I got my shirt tucked back in. The thing is, I originally ordered, like I said, a medium because that was actually going to be one size down for me. I kind of get into some gray areas when it comes to sizes with my body type with clothing. Um, you guys can probably relate. Uh, like I said, I'm a 36 waist, but sometimes I wear 34 shorts and they fit loose on me. Uh, sometimes I can't squeeze into them. You know, same thing goes with shirts. I wear medium and large shirts, but most of the time I wear my larges. I can seal carry most of the time and I don't like my shirts to be as short and form fitting as around the house. So uh, if you have a, a frame like I do, uh, don't be afraid to go for a small. Which brings me to my next point. Is it comfortable? Yes, I think so. Absolutely. You know, it's not as tight as it was the first time I tried it. That's what she said. <laughs> no, seriously. The first couple of days wearing it, um, it went on great, but it almost felt like it was glued to me. Like, uh, I don't know, it, it, maybe it was because I'm wearing my first bulletproof shirt and it fit real tight, so I just kind of rolled with it. After a couple of days, it did feel like it loosened up a little bit. Let's just say that it'll break in during the first few days because after three weeks, I haven't noticed it getting any looser. But yes, I find it to be much more comfortable than I expected. Will you feel the plates on your chest and back? Sure, uh, you're wearing body armor. If you walk around in a motorcycle jacket with pads built into it, you're gonna feel those too. And uh, they're actually thinner than these. A little less than a pound per plate. So honestly, as the days went on, I thought about it less and less. It kind of just became uh, part of my attire. I really love how they threaded these uh, reinforced straps into the pockets and shoulders. I believe they're called concealment channels. They really provide extra support in keeping the inserts in place. Uh, you don't even feel it on your shoulders to tell you the truth. I really love how they design that. Although the channels are a tiny bit thicker than the shirt itself, I honestly can't even really tell because they're so soft underneath it, it feels the same as the rest of the shirt. Which brings me to another thing that's got going on for it. And that is that it is flexible and very breathable. The neck isn't too tight. The arms aren't too tight. It's not choking me at all. It hasn't gotten stretched out over the past three weeks, which is great. I also don't sweat that much in it. 
I mean, granted, it's winter time here in Georgia now, and we still have the highs in the mid 50s, but I drive a truck all day and I'm wearing a hoodie over it with the heat blasting, and never once did I sweat profusely with it on. Kind of has that moisture wicking effect that polyester shirts have. That being said, there are some cons to this product, and let's talk about concealability. Is that a word? Concealability? I think it might be hyphenated. Anyway, I've had a chance to wear this everyday armor shirt in my work clothes, in sweaters, in suits over the holidays, and other different settings wearing different attire. As thin as it appears, printing is still an issue to consider. So what I'm gonna do now is try on some outfits over this and show you guys what it looks like with different articles of clothing to give you a better understanding of what it might look like and feel like with what you might normally wear for work or every day or whatever. So let me know in the comments what looks obvious and what looks hidden to you. have it folks now you have a better idea of what it looks like with different types of clothes I find that the thicker the fabric and the darker the colors hide it the best but honestly the biggest X factor to conceal this t-shirt is the patterns and the prints that you're gonna wear over it my personal favorite is the flannel I think that it's just as good if not better than having a jacket on over it plain color clothing uh, you could see it if you bend over and move it around so it'll be more noticeable uh, speaking of which uh, you got to ask yourself, if you're going to buy this, do you have any friends or co-workers that are the touchy-feely type? Do you get a lot of pats on the backs from uh, co-workers? Do you get a lot of attaboys? Uh, do you get a lot of hugs uh, from friends or family throughout the day? This is something you're going to want to keep in mind because if that's the case, people are going to know, so be prepared to explain um, what's going on under here. Um, my last gripe I have with this is, and uh, if there's any women that have had this problem, let me know in the comments. But uh, when I'm driving or I'm in a seated uh, position, 
the front plate will ride up a little bit. So it normally sits, you know, at the top of my chest level, but when you're seated, sometimes it could ride up in your collarbone or up into your throat a little bit, depending on how much you slouch. It's honestly an issue that can be solved with good posture, but I feel like it's probably a much bigger problem for women than men. So women, let me know if you have this problem before. Let me wrap this up, guys. My overall takeaway, I love it. Um, are you on the verge of buying it and want my recommendation? Yes, buy it, do it. Listen, there's gonna be things you love and things you hate about it. it all depends on if you're willing to or not. Um, if you're willing to wear it, if you're willing, you know, it's, it's you're wearing an insurance policy. You're wearing it for whatever reasons you bought it for, but are you willing to make the adjustments in your life to make it work? You know, are you gonna wear it under your tight gym shirts all the time and uh, decide you don't wanna wear it because it's too obvious and you just, you know, you look so good in that shirt because they sit right on your arms perfect and make your biceps look 10 times bigger than they really are. No, you know, may, are you gonna make the adjustment and just wear a little bit bigger of a shirt to the gym or, you know, wherever it may be? You know, are you gonna complain that it's uncomfortable when you're sitting at your desk at work or you're driving to work? And, you know, you know, are you gonna pick your head up and put your shoulders back and fix your posture? You know, are you gonna keep driving with the uh, gangsta lean to try to impress your chick? Are you gonna straighten out your hat? You're gonna pick up your seat and sit up straight like an adult. Because I'm telling you, if you do that, you're not even gonna notice that you're wearing it and neither will anyone else. Listen guys, I've worn this thing running, lifting weights. My nips never chafed. I wore it driving for 14 hours at a time, you know, lifting heavy objects over my head from the side, from the front, you know, I've never had any issues. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't think you could do that with any other body armor on the market. I mean, if you can, let me know in the comments where it is, but Honestly, I, I love this thing and I'm gonna wear it every day. But for me personally, three things I love the most about this is that number one, it works, all right? Stops bullets, enough said. Number two, it has great coverage. You know, the um, cardiac box, if you will, you know, covering up all your major organs uh, for the most part. It fits very well. I feel like it fits great on for my body type. I feel very comfortable with it. Uh, it feels, you know, it puts my mind at ease. It gives me a lot of peace of mind and um, I love it. You know, I feel like it's a perfect insurance policy. And uh, last but not least is, uh, is that it's very comfortable when I can still carry. Now, as you can see, I wear it outside the waistband, either single or dual uh, magazine, extra magazine holders. And I wear, usually wear it inside the waistband for concealed carry for my pistol. And I'll usually wear that, it all depends. Sometimes I wear an appendix, sometimes I wear it at three or four o'clock. But in any case, I got a little bit of a spare tire and I noticed that when you tuck this in, it eliminates any pinching that you might get from getting in and out of your truck or moving around. And it just makes concealed carrying uh, all that much more comfortable throughout the day. So that's the third thing I love about it. So that's all I got for you now on this, guys. Um, I hope you guys found it useful. I'm gonna be doing another review in six months to give you guys an update on uh, how she's held up since then and also letting you know what it's like wearing it in the um, you know these hot, sweltering Georgia summers that we have down here. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, help me grow my channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.